When using the elimination method to solve a system of equations, it is often helpful to write both equations in the form ax plus by equals c, the standard form for a linear equation. As you can see, this first equation is not in standard form. We'd like to have 2x in front of 3y, and the 1 needs to go to the other side. So subtracting 1 from each side and using commutative property, we've transformed the first equation. In the second equation, we need to bring the negative 4y to the left, so we'll add a 4y to both sides, transforming it as well. Looking at this equation, since neither coefficient of x is a multiple of the other, and neither coefficient of y is a multiple of the other, we use the multiplication principle with both equations. And we can eliminate either the x term or the y term. Let's eliminate the x term. Looking for the least common multiple of 2 and 5, we find that it is the product of each of these factors, in other words, 10. So in the first equation, we want to bring the coefficient of our x term up to 10, and to achieve that, we'll multiply it by 5. To maintain equality, we'll use the multiplication principle, meaning we'll multiply each and every term by 5. And in the second equation, to achieve that 10 on the x coefficient, but also recognizing we want it to be an opposite, we need to multiply that term as well as every term in the second equation by negative 2 to maintain equality. After our multiplication of each term in these two equations, the result is the following. We're now set up to add the two equations together. As we anticipated and manipulated these equations so that the x term cancels out, that is the case. 10x plus negative 10x cancels out. Combining the y's, 15y plus a negative 8y is 7y, and the constant terms negative 5 plus negative 14 results in a negative 19. Solving for y, since we have one equation with one variable, all we need to do is divide both sides by 7. We now have the y coordinate for a common solution to these two equations. We'll take that y, replace the value found in either one of the equations. Let's put it in the first equation of this system and simplify to find the corresponding x coordinate. First step, we need to multiply, giving us the following results of 2x plus negative 57 over 7. Solving for x, we will add a 57 sevenths to both sides. We'll have to have a common denominator and replacing our negative 1 with negative 7 over 7. We now have our common denominators that we can combine the fractions with a final result of 50 70ths. And last, to solve for x, we'll divide both sides by 2, which results in the value of x, 25 sevenths. So the solution to this system would be the ordered pair 25 sevenths, negative 19 sevenths, being sure that we put the x-coordinate first followed by the y-coordinate.